how's it going? Matthew Bailey here, and welcome to another random movie review. And now this is going to be a little bit different than a lot of the other random movie reviews I've done. This is actually going to be based on a, a Netflix ho horror film called The Babysitter. Now, yes, I uh, to be fair, I actually the only way I was able to watch these this Netflix movie was if I used the TV down in my mom's room, unfortunately. I wasn't able to watch in in my own room or this room. But yeah, so The Babysitter mostly is a 2017 film, like I said, on Netflix that features that that, that features a young boy named Cole Johnson, I believe is his last name, who, who's, who is unaware that the babysitter he has for the night is actually part of an evil cold that was, that is basically a deal that they made with the devil to get what they want. And the only way that this ritual can work is, is if they use the blood of the sacrifice and the blood of the innocent, which is sort of another like family friendly type term for something else. You, if you if you know what I mean by that, just let me know in the comments. But and he he witnesses the 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 blood of the sacrifice happening by when his actual babysitter um, uses two knives and stabs a young innocent bystander that they found at his school um, in the head. And then they went, then they go to, um, to supposedly take the blood from, from Cole while he's sleeping. And they do, I think, do that at one point, but then he tries to secretly sneak out of the window after they leave so that he can go for help. And, but then they catch him and then they try to keep him secure until... This whole thing is finished, but then, but he, they didn't count on him having already called the cops, and so then they have no choice but to kill him, and and then it's sort of similar to how to the way he does traps in the, he sets up a bunch of traps somewhat similar to the Home Alone movies. The only difference is these traps actually do kill the people. Um, yeah, because unlike the traps in Home Alone, where they just stopped them. He, where the kid was just you, setting traps for them to get injured. These traps that Cole uses actually kills most of the members of the cult, including two actors who I've actually seen in other movies before, like Robbie Amell as um, as the character of Max in this movie, who I've also seen him play Fred on the Scooby Doo prequels and. I think that's the only movies I've seen him in, but and then the other actor is actually an actress, Bella Thorne, who I forgot the name of her character, but she the only movie I remember seeing her in is um, the fourth Alvin and the Chipmunks movie, which I, I know what you're thinking, and the, is the fact that I watched the Alvin and the Chipmunks movies. I still kind of enjoy them. I have to admit, the only movie out of the Chipmunks that I don't really appreciate that much is the uh, the third movie when they go on vacation and that's because the character of David of Ian Hawk in that movie is somewhat weird in, in it but that we're not talking about that movie we're talking about this babysitter movie and honestly I have to say the this movie was pretty interesting and sure is technically a, it's a horror movie so technically it's rated I think it was rated R on Netflix, but that's the thing. But the thing is, though, I actually didn't mind watching this horror movie because unlike the horror movie, unlike some horror movies that I wouldn't want to see um, at full volume, like the It movies or I don't know what other uh, Insidious that have jump scares, this movie didn't even have as many like scary jump scares that I thought it would. So when I so I thought this was a pretty decent movie and and I 
No, there's a, and there is a sequel that just got released, I think, this year. Um, and I'm going to be probably reviewing that movie, too, after this video gets uploaded. So, well, not immediately after this video, but just in at some point in the near future. But, yeah, so The Babysitter. That's, I'm just lucky I'm not a kid anymore, and I wouldn't need a babysitter because I... At the, when I was younger, I used to have a baby. I I think my mom used to get me some babysitters too, but but I stopped having a babysitter when I was I stopped having to go to actually needing a babysitter when I was like twelve years old. So I'm and at the time, it was pretty crazy. But um, anyways, let me give you my review on this movie. So, for the babysitter on Netflix. I gotta say, even though I'm not really a big fan of horror films, this one wasn't really that bad for me. Honestly, I thought it was pretty enjoyable, and I'm gonna have to give it a 4 out of 5. Yep, 4 out of 5. I thought it was a pretty decent movie, and and I know for a fact that one, that one, per, one of my friends who might possibly see this video is gonna be a bit surprised. So, with me that I'm actually watching other horror f type films but anyways that's all for now in this random movie review and as always I will see all you dudes in the next video